today we're going to be taking a look at a budget-friendly 1080p projector from Vanco, the V630W. If you're new to the channel and you like this video, press that like button and subscribe. There's a lot to get through, so let's get started. In the box, we have the user manual and the quick start guide, a lens cleaning kit, some screws, a AV cable for your RCA inputs, HDMI cable, projector remote, a power cable, a carrying case for the projector, and the projector itself. Next for the features we have, native 1080p resolution, 7600 lux, 6000 to 1 contrast ratio, 50,000 hours of lamp life, 50 degree manual and electronic keystone correction, 5G support for screen mirroring, projection up to 300 inches, and a built-in speaker. Taking a closer look at the projector. The dimensions are 12 inches wide, 9 inches in depth, and a height of 4 inches. On the front of the projector, you have a 3 inch in diameter lens and is stylized with a light gray fabric. On the top, we have two manual adjustments that can be made. One is the focus ring to adjust the image clarity, and the other is the keystone correction to adjust the image shape. If you can't find your remote, no worries. There's also controls located directly on the projector, so you can navigate your projector menus and select your inputs. On the back, you're gonna find a variety of different inputs, including a VGA input, two USB ports, one which supplies up to five volts of power, an IR sensor, AV input for RCA connections, a 3.5 millimeter audio out connection to hook up some external speakers, your power input, and just below the gray fabric, we have our speakers. On each side of the projector, you'll find grates for the airflow. Then there's an SD memory card slot, as well as two HDMI inputs. And to complete our physical tour, we have the bottom. It has an adjustable stand that gives you about an inch of tilt. We also have four screw holes, so if you want a ceiling mount the projector. And then we have four rubber feet, so you can protect your surfaces and prevent it from sliding. The remote is made of plastic, it's lightweight and compact, and has everything you need to navigate the projector. It takes two AAA batteries, which aren't included. Like most projectors, you're going to have options to tweak your viewing experience to your personal preference. Going into the menu, we have picture mode, which has some standard presets along with the ability to manually adjust them. Color temperature also has your standard presets to make your image warmer or cooler. And just like picture mode, you can fine tune it to your liking. Aspect ratio allows you to choose between a bunch of different options, auto, four by three, 16 by nine. If you like to zoom in your image, you have two different zoom options as well as just scan. You have noise reduction, which has a few options as well. Projection direction flips the image to correspond to how the projector is physically placed. For example, if you had it mounted on the ceiling, you would need to flip the image vertically. Reduced display size is pretty handy, especially when you want to mount your projector further away from your screen. The further away your projector is from the screen, the bigger the projector the image will be. And depending on the room layout and the projector placement, the image may be too large for the projected area. While you won't be able to increase the size of the image, you will be able to make it smaller to fit the area. On the next page, you'll have options to customize your sound settings for the built-in speakers. On the last menu page, you can change your menu language. Restore Factory puts the projector at the default options from the manufacturer. Blending gives you the ability to make your menus transparent. By default, the menu will remain visible until you close it. But you can set it to automatically close using the OSD duration. Keystone correction comes in handy. If the projector is not directly in line with the screen, the image is going to look more like a trapezoid rather than a square. Preferably, you'd want to move your projector around to get the perfect image, but if you don't have that option, that's when you use keystone correction. You just have to keep in mind that when you're using it, you are going to sacrifice the clarity of the image.
In order to select your input, you're going to either need to use this input selection on your remote or directly on the projector. Focusing on the most commonly used inputs, let's start with the screen mirroring. To switch between iOS and Android devices, all you need to do is press OK on the remote. Connecting my iOS device was really straightforward using the instructions on the screen. But my Android device was a little bit different. It took me a bit longer to figure out what screen mirroring was called on my Samsung. Once I figured out it was called Smart View on my S9, the projector showed up right away and I was able to screen mirror without lag. Under the USB input, you're going to find four different types of players. Movies, music, photos, and text. I went ahead and I loaded up my one terabyte drive with a variety of different multimedia files. For movies, I was able to play any video file that I threw at it. AVI, MOV, MP4, X264, and H264 MKV files. They all played without issue. Music loaded up fine as well. And for photos, I found that it wouldn't play any image larger than 1.5 megabytes. When connecting my laptop to the projector, I thought it did really well and the text came out very clear. The built-in speaker is pretty loud, and the projector fan isn't noisy enough that it would distract you while watching a movie. I found once I got a movie going, the fan was even noticeable. You're a rock star. How's it looking, Barley? We should have about 10 minutes. Well, that's perfect. We're on in one! All systems go! Yeah, you, go! Go! I'm currently projecting at a distance of 9 feet, which is giving me an 86 inch display. As you can see, the image is quite impressive. The brightness and the contrast is great, and it maintains detail throughout the image. While I was watching videos with a lot of motion, I noticed no stutter or lag. For the best viewing experience, a darker room is always preferred, but the projector is bright enough that it can be used in a room with ambient light. If you're looking for a movie theater experience without leaving your home and breaking the bank, at less than $300, this projector could be the perfect fit for you. So this is where I'm going to end the video today. All the product links can be found in the description down below, and since you're there, hit that like button and help the channel grow by hitting that subscribe button to get all the latest videos. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one.